Hi there, this is Dr. Sami Garas, and in this video, I'm going to go through the course syllabus with you to explain the key sections there and clarify any uh, points. And also, it will highlight the expectations from you during the semester. So I'm not going to go through word by word in this course syllabus, but I will highlight the key sections, and I encourage you to read the course syllabus whenever you have a chance. So the first section here, which is my contact details, where you can reach me by email or by phone. Uh, also, I'm available in my office every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from 12.30 to 2 o'clock. However, if you uh, are available in a different time, please let me know, and we can definitely meet via Zoom. Uh, the prerequisite for this course is the material you covered in Intermediate Accounting 2 course. You, I don't need to go through all the materials with you, but in this course, we will go through consolidation. We will go through uh, constitution of partnership companies. And here we need to uh, leverage on the material you covered in Intermediate Accounting 2. So I encourage you, if you have notes from that course, bring them out as you study this course, as they will be helpful. The uh, key point in this course is to cover the formation, the operation of a partnership company. I believe in intermediate accounting, you cover the corporation, but here we talk about uh, partnership uh, from A to Z. And then we talk about consolidation between two companies, mainly corporation. And then we talk about how we consolidate the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow. And this will take the big chunk of the course. And when we make consolidation, we come up with a big issue, which is the calculation of goodwill and the impairment of goodwill following the consolidation. And we will see how we can treat the accounting journals for consolidation and goodwill. Then we will talk about the intercompany uh, transactions like sales or revenue or inventory. And those will talk a few chapters after that. The book I'm going to use it in this course is Advanced Accounting 14th edition uh, by Hoyle and Schiffer. And you don't have to buy the book from the bookstore, but you can buy it from anywhere as long as you get the access code to connect. The websites I'm gonna use in this course first is Brightspace and then Connect. And here on Connect, if you click on the hyperlink I provided in the syllabus, this will take you here to Connect website where you need to write your email and then it will guide you either to sign up for the course or to create an account and go from there. Here you can see section one, which is 401 WS1. But if you are in section two or three, then it will show up section two or three. But I'm showing this as an example. And in this course, I'm gonna go through the chapters and every week I will assign some problems from the chapter on connect, and this will be the assignment, and multiple choice, and this will be in form of quizzes. So both assignment and quiz will be on connect. And I'm gonna show you now the difference between them, but mainly the assignments are for problem solving, and the assignment has no time limit, but the quizzes have time limits, and they have mainly multiple choice questions. Studying the assignment and the quiz will be very helpful because once we finish three chapters, then we have an exam on those chapters. And then we take another three chapters and then we get the second exam and then four chapters and then we get the final exam. The due date for submitting your assignment and quizzes, it's usually Friday at 2 p.m. If you are taking the accounting information system with me, you might see that the due date is the same, which is Friday at 2 p.m. So I'm telling you from now, play, please plan your time accordingly so you can submit your work for accounting information system and advanced accounting on time. If your availability is usually during the weekend, 
So I'm telling you in advance, try to work in the weekend for the following Friday. And this will help you to resolve any issue before the due date. I am available usually in my office on Friday to answer your email. So if you decide to work on the last minute, that's fine. I will be able to help you to resolve any issue before the due date. I usually grade your work on the weekend or the following weekend and put your grade by Monday morning. So you get a chance to see where is your score by Monday morning. Uh, here I highlight unit four and five. Why? Because I put 10 days here for unit four and 10 days for unit five. And this can tell you that those two units talking about consolidation, they need more time to digest them. And this is the reason I give them extra time. But for the rest of the modules, you will see they take only one week. And the exams are not comprehensive. It means what we covered in exam one will not show up in exam two and the same thing for the final. So in this course, we will have participation forum. And here you can share your thoughts, your questions on the material of that week, but they don't take any grade from your final grade. So participation in the forum is quite optional. The assignments will take 20% and the quizzes will take 15%. The assignments, they need more time. And this is the reason I give them extra points. The quizzes are straightforward and you should be able to answer them uh, within two attempts. Uh, by the way, for the assignment and the quizzes, each one of them has two attempts and the higher score you get in both assignments will be recorded in your final grade. The same thing for the quizzes. Uh, usually I drop off the lowest two assignments and the lowest two quizzes. So here you have 10 assignments and 10 quizzes. I drop off the lowest two. Why I do that? Because I know sometimes you might not meet the deadline. Sometimes you get low score in one of them or two of them, so I drop it off. In this course, we will work on individual project using Power BI. And this is different from the project in the accounting information system where we use Tableau. So here we use another platform. How you get access to Power BI, I put the link here. If you click on the link, it will take you to the Power BI website, which is Microsoft. If you have Mac or you don't have a space on your desktop to download Power BI, that's totally fine. You can get access through this one from our remote lab. So the same thing, I explain it for accounting information system where you can see Tableau here, but this is for accounting information system. Here for the advanced accounting, we are gonna use Power BI through our remote lab. How to get access to the remote lab? If you scroll down in this website, here is the link for our lab. And we have here Osable 110 and Osable 109. You can see here Power, uh, Power BI in Osable 19, but it also, it exists in 110. And once you click here, it will connect you to our lab where it asks us for your credential. Once you enter it, it will take you here to the desktop of our remote lab and you will see Power BI here where you can open it, you work on it, you save your data and then submit. It. Just remember when you work on the remote lab, first you save the data set I give it to you on Google Drive and then you open the lab station, then you open Power BI and download the data from Google Drive to the desktop here. Make your work on Power BI, then save the data on the Google Drive and then take it to your desktop. Remember once you log off for any reason from the lab station, all the information will be deleted and we do this for security purposes. So please manage your work and save it on Google Drive before you leave the lab station. So let me go back here to our syllabus and this will be 
the individual project. Uh, we have three exams. The first exam will cover three chapters and it will take 15% of your final grade. The second and the final exam will take 20% each. The passing score in this course is 50%, not 60. And it's similar to the accounting information system because the higher level course have lower passing grade. So the passing grade is 50%. Uh, please make sure to submit your work for the assignment, the quizzes, the project, and the exams on time because I don't give time extension. Uh, how to do well in the class, please make sure to manage your time. And I can tell you based on my experience, the main challenge in my courses is the time. Because some other courses, they are a bit flexible and you can finish your work on the last minute. But for my courses, they need time to work on the material and try to manage your time to make sure you submit your work and get your high school. Uh, for my communication, I usually put the announcement on bright space. I also send emails to the students. So please make sure to check your email. If you need to reach out to me, the best way is email. And in this course, we will focus on business knowledge and mainly the area of consolidation, the formation of a company, the foreign currency exchange, and in a way, we will talk about international companies, but we also use technology here, which is Power BI for the individual project. The other areas here for our learning objectives, we don't put a stress on them like teamwork or communication skills and so on. Uh, if you get a chance, please read our code of professional behavior in the classroom. And remember that not all the points are relevant to the online classes. So when you read it, please be aware of the points related to the online classes. For example, be punctual for classes. It's meant to be for on-campus classes, not online, and so on. Uh, finally, uh, you can get a chance to read my bio, look at who I am, uh, I have been working here with Sony Plattsburgh for four years. I came as an associate professor of accounting and I have been promoted for full professor rank this year. Uh, I am active in research in the area of corporate governance, internal control, corporate reporting, and now I tap on the area of technology and forensic accounting in my research. Uh, I have my PhD, I got it from Switzerland back in 2010, and I earned nine professional certifications. It meant to be for public auditing, internal auditing, forensic accounting, governmental accounting, and IT audit. And I am working for two more. And I hope during my course material is to share with you my experience if you are planning to go for any of these certifications in the future, feel free to reach out. I can share with you the material I used in my preparation, and I can help you to manage your time for the certification. I hope you find this course useful. Advanced accounting is one of the hot topic that is addressed in CPA, CIA, and CMA. So take advantage of it. The material or connect are very helpful because they explain to you how to do the technical or the mechanical work of advanced accounting. And this is the reason I chose the textbook from uh, Connect. If you need anything, please reach out to you and I wish you a successful semester. Thank you. Bye-bye.